lot of people think that hip hop is just the music. You know, when you look at everybody in these pictures, you just know them because of their videos and their records and their shows and their tours. But before hip hop became a recorded entity, like other forms of music, hip hop is the style, the fashion. Hip hop is the art, which is the graffiti. Hip hop was also the dance. But when you look at, let's take away the music for, for a minute. When you look at graffiti, and when you look at the way we dressed, and when you look at the way we communicated before we started rapping, and when you looked at when you look at the way we dance, that whole presentation is artistic. The music was just the culmination of all of those things together because we had to explain ourselves. You know, why do you write like this? Why do you dress like that? Why do you talk like that? Why do you move like that? So the music was the kind of the narrative to the whole artistic expression of hip hop. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time is tricky. What's happening with hip hop is this. Hip hop, and not hip hop alone, everything in entertainment is using negativity as a false sense of power. The disrespect of women, the disrespect of um, rules and regulations, the disrespect of each other's, claiming that being a thug, a killer, a murderer, a thief, a liar, um, a rapist is cool, is totally not representative of what we created hip hop for in the first place. A drug dealer can do a record about drug dealing, but the power of hip hop was at the end of that record, that drug dealer would say, but y'all don't do what I do. And all those little kids would go, yo, he just said, you know, rock him. I use him as a great example. He said, I used to roll up, this is a hole up, but now I learn to earn because I'm righteous. So all the little shorties was like, the God rock him said, we don't have to do that no more. What do we do? Then we would tell him. Nowadays, the guy says, I'm a hole up, I kill, I rape, and I get the village, and I'm getting money for it, and we celebrate it. There's great music out there. Look at what Chance the Rapper's doing. Look at what Kendrick has done. Look at Andre 3000, one of the greatest MCs ever who never spit a whack verse. The problem is we're not putting the college educated rapping student next to the thug student that's telling the story about his hard life. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around, that's right, on time is tricky. Like when I first met him, I saw, I saw his work. And I was totally blown away because a lot of his work has the so-called classic rock genre, and that's all I listen to is classic rock. The way he operates was like it was like he was a music. Mu mu it's like he is a musician. The same way he thinks and composes and visions and, and produces, I felt that we had something in common as artists. The artists, like I'm, I do rock and roll and rap, and he takes pictures. But when I met him, I realized that we are exactly the same people. What I like about the, the photography is um, it shows the artist outside of their realm being off the stage. But it's also like when, when, the, public looks, when the public looks at these pictures, you see yourself as opposed to seeing, you know, the, the, the mighty DMC on stage, or, you know, Slick Rick the Ruler. You look at um, what's around these people in these pictures, and then um, you look at what they're wearing, but just the whole, that, the moment that's captured is, um, it draws you in. It's almost like you're the subject of the picture. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around, that's right, on time is tricky. Oh, wow, my favorite photo. It's a picture of N.W.A. at the beach. You know what I'm saying? You don't see no guns, you don't see no, you don't see no beer, you don't see no liquor, you don't see no alcohol. It's, it's a picture that exposes them as just normal, everyday guys.
You really want to know? I'm not trying to be um, funny, but it was like a dream. On my way here, I'm coming to the city. When I walked to the front door, all of a sudden I got this funny feel. I was tired, I was sleepy, but when I walked in here, this, this funny feeling came over me. And the coolest thing that happened was, as soon as I walked in the lobby, there was a DJ in there DJing. So that gave me a good feeling. But the, what's going down here tonight is, sight, sound, and a cultural injection of enthusiasm, creativity that culminates your life experience into something that will change the way you think about this universe when you leave the Dream Hotel. That's what happens here at the Dream. It was all a dream.